Pop Current's exclusive sponsor is Bakersfield Heart Hospital. Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Kern. I'm Karen Wall, and today we're at Murray Family Farms for the most festive time of year. They're one of the few local pumpkin patches open this season, so we're ready to explore everything autumnal, everything October, and everything yummy here. So we've come on in, we're joined here by Vicki and Stephen Murray. Mother-son duo, you guys keep it all in the family. Yep. You guys usually have October Fun Fest this time of year, but things are looking a little bit different this year. We think that it's safe for people to come and visit um, in an outdoor environment. So, so much room for really social excited. distancing. 43 acres to hang out in. So right now, uh, we're in our pumpkin patch. We have about two acres of pumpkins here. Yeah, look at these cool things. Woo! Yeah. And you get one of these with the price of admission. That is true. So and then after you get your pumpkin, or before you get your pumpkin, you can go into the sunflower patch over here. And I have to ask before we get too far in, how hard is this exactly? This should be really easy. Okay, good, for all ages. Yeah, yeah, this is this is uh, one way in, one way out. But looking at both sides here, I just didn't know that there were this many varieties of sunflowers. There are red ones, or maroon, I guess you would call this. Yeah, there's also some that are supposed to be black in here. Wow, talk this, about spooky sunflowers. That's but the black one. The darkest we've definitely seen in this entire trail. Yeah. <laughs> Like you described it, very Tim Burton-y, right? Yeah, yeah, very Tim Burton-y. The beautiful thing about this is that there are so many photo ops. I just want to take a picture of everything. So we've hopped on over to the other side of the grounds at the corn maze. The sunflower maze was pretty easy, just a trail, but how hard is this? It's not that hard. I mean, there was one person that came in and they called us saying that we need help you now. <laughs> But in general, this is actually pretty easy. You should just go in one side and come out. So, question is, left or right? Uh, I have to check the sign. So, farmers use balloons to pollinate the flowers at the top of date trees. I think that's false. That's false. That's actually really interesting. There are these signs that you put all over the maze that have these sort of riddles or trivia questions that you answer to really give you tips along the way. Yes, that's right. So, right now, I think we go straight. Okay. There's another sign, so that's a good sign. Oh, good. No, okay, and so we've done we're that stuff. Lost. All right, so we, <laughs> so we were over there. Okay. All right, adult goat can eat an entire acre worth of grass in a single day. Is that true? I think so. Holy moly, okay, turn left. Oh my gosh, we see the light. <laughs> we see the light. We made it. <laughs> Woo! Woo! So our last stop of the day, where are we now, Steven? So right now we are in front of the Spookly the Square Pumpkin little mini maze. Mini maze, good for the kids. We just cover everything in flowers. Where our goal is to help the butterflies. Uh, we plant plants that attract butterflies. And then we have milkweed plants so that we can have monarchs so many varieties, yeah. pink ones, orange ones, yellow. We have a ton of different flowers. So in the spring, um, my dad propagated, I don't know, a couple hundred different kinds of flowers. Well, thank you all so much for romping around and exploring with us today. I'll catch you next Friday at noon.